Chang. Do you like your dress? Yay! Can you show me your art? Oh, Pamirsa, look at this. Rachel did it. Uh oh. Take it, please. Are you shy? What? Rachel dia lagi tertidur di mobil Jadi saya tidak bisa keluar dengan suami Untuk pergi ke restoran ya Ini kita baru pulang gereja And Kita mau pergi nonton film pemirsa Karena ya yeah, spend time with the family Hari Minggu adalah hari untuk family Aduh saya sudah makan rambut eh We're eating in the car. Pemirsa, saya punya kacamata, saya tidak tahu di mana. Ini dia kacamata yang lama. Kok ada dog saki? Oh, he like those, I think. Yeah, you want to try this? Rachel is sleeping. So big. Because you marry me? No, no. I mean, you don't ever talk about like how you think you're better than other people. You're just living your life. Oh yeah, you, I mean, hello. You're just doing the best you can. I, I think that they call you conceited because they're either putting a motive behind your actions that they, they are assuming. They don't know why you do what you do. They're, and they're thinking, maybe this is why she does it. Oh, okay. Or maybe, this is possibly too, their expectations for what you should do Oh. is different from what you actually do and I think the reason why you know it, what they think is what would be good or normal why you didn't do that must be because you think you're better but they, you're not thinking the same way yeah no. I know I do the things that I think is good for me but I also always like listen to what people say but then I will filter it on my brain and then I'll decide okay I'll do my way. You know, yeah. I, I accept what people say to me, but... Yeah, you accept criticism, but... Oh, sorry. Y you also judge whether or not the criticism is valid first. But I I'm more thinking along the lines of, like, I think some people criticized you for not visiting your family right away. <laughs> right? But yeah. the thing is, <laughs> they don't know your perspective of the situation. They know what they would do with their family. And that's fine. They know... But the thing is, they don't understand... Your relationship with your family is very strained. You've had a very tough relationship with your family and a very painful one. Since I was a kid. And they don't know that because of the difference between your relationship with your parents and the, difference, and the relationship with, of them with their parents is not similar. I know. know. So, it, like, I am so happy around my friends. I mean, I'm happy around my mom and my dad too, but I, like... You spend a lot of time away from your family for a reason. Yeah. And it's not because you uh, are not a good daughter or because you don't 
think of your family or you don't help your family. You've helped. You've done more to help. Your I've family done a lot of good things, Marissa. You have no idea. You're not Even bragging. I didn't like. You're not bragging. You don't need to brag. I know. I haven't told them about this. I have helped them a lot. I have not told you that because I don't want to be conceited, like real conceited, my man. So I keep that for myself. But I don't know why I, I got comments. And, and you also don't tell them all the things you've had to go through with your family, what they've said to you or done to you, because it's really, you're not trying to spread the, spread the negativity, but you have to understand, you guys only see a small part of her life and my life, and um, you, there's a lot of it that you don't get to see, and that's often affects our decisions, definitely affects her decisions. And you gotta do the best you can to see from her perspective, not just say what would I do with my family in that situation, because it's not the same situation. And I don't, I'm not mad at anyone who's like, oh, I would have visited my family first thing. I would of course miss them. I, I'm sure you would have, and, I, and I, I'm, I'm glad you do that. Before you can criticize someone on some things, you have to be able to walk a mile in their shoes. You know? Yep. Don't presume to know everything about someone. Even someone where you've seen a lot of their life. You see a lot of Peta's life. But you don't, you don't see all of it. You don't see all the things that go into her reasoning, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, so, except that you don't know all the information. And maybe, you know, she makes a lot of things public. She can't make everything public. Saya mendapatkan komen ini dari subscribers, pemirsa, bukan dari haters ya. Dari subscribers yang pikir bahwa saya sudah kayak berubah, kayak saya sudah sombong, pemirsa. Makanya saya kayak kaget. Like what? Like apa yang saya lakukan sampai saya sampai saya dicap sombong? You know? Padahal saya cuma melakukan segala sesuatu yang you know, yang saya pikir, okay, ini yang akan saya lakukan, and ini adalah keputusan saya. So, I don't know. Have you told the story of your family? The second one? No, not yet. Okay. That's why they don't know. Right. <laughs> Even then, I don't think you're saying everything because you're not trying to, you know, fully embarrass them. But yeah. Maybe, maybe so that the viewers can kind of understand why you're not as close with your family as other people are. It actually takes a long time to tell the second story, and I have not done it. Cause one, I don't want to, you know, embarrass Mama Luca and the entire family. Second, I think I said in Indonesia, I made everything cool. Although nobody mentioning the things that I have posted in the video last time, nobody talked to me, Pemirsa. Okay, nobody. They didn't even mention a thing. Didn't even apologize. And I made it all cool. Saya bersikap biasa. Saya tidak, you know, menjudge mereka atau apa. Saya bikin biasa karena, you know, I want, I wanted to see my, my mom and my dad. There's some stuff that your family has done to you that if it was done to me by my family, I would never have spoke to them again. Never would have talked to them again. They would no longer be in my family. Oh, one thing that I never told them is Travis. Dia tidak bercerita dengan most of his family, Pemirsa. Not because he hates them, but because he wanted to live, you know, good life and cut negative people out, right? So if there's someone in your life that is toxic, they only bring negative things to you. The, um, they always are the problem and never, ever positive. Uh, if you keep those people, those people in your life, they're only gonna bring negativity to your life. So. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to be patient with people who are trying, but if there's some people who are simply toxic, I can cut them out of my life and move forward with the positive people who are positive influences in my life. Also, uh, there's a fair number of people in my family who I didn't cut off them, they cut me off. Like oh yeah. My, uh, my grandfather, uh, my mother's dad, father, I met him for the first time when I was 17. I know the story. And when I went to visit him uh, to go to uh, pilot training in his his state of Alabama, um, I got to live in his house for two months and uh, learn about him, and he got to learn about me. And I found out he's a racist. He doesn't like black people at all. You're or, not black. Or Asian, right? But because I have dark eyes, he thinks that I have black blood in me. Oh. Uh, so he says, you look like you have black blood, boy. And he's like, he's hating on me because he thinks I'm not pure white. And then I saw him watching TV and I was walking by and he said, uh, oh, that 
Condoleezza Rice woman who uh, uh, is a politician in America back during the, the uh, Bush era. Um, I believe she was Secretary of State. Condoleezza Rice, Secretary of State. He said, she's pretty good for a black woman. And I'm, and that's that comment, I'm like, what do you mean pretty good for a black woman? I, I listed off a bunch of good things that she had done. I says, she's not only good for a black woman, she's good for any woman. She's good for any American. She's a great Secretary of State. And that caused an argument. In the end, he cut me off, disowned me, because I didn't believe what he believed. I didn't hate black people like he hates black people, so he didn't want to associate with me. Oh, wow. Oh, I, I didn't know that. I don't know that story. I did know about the story you used the phone. So he accused me as a, a reason to cut me off, rather than just say, it's because you're not racist like me. We had an argument about, you know, not, had, not me not hating black people and uh, me going to church back then. Um, but he, he make the excuse of that because I used collect call to call home and I charge him like $10. He charged you? No, no. Your phone company oh. charges you when you a collect call. Okay. Right? So because I called collect call and it add $10 to his phone bill. And he say you steal it from him. He says that I'm a, I'm a thief because I use collect call when actually I used a phone service on oh, his phone. Oh, wow. And I said, I told him, I'll pay you $10, no problem. I mean, I couldn't have paid it in advance. I mean, did you tell him in advance that you're going to use the phone? He let me use the phone. I asked him to make calls. <laughs> I was 17. I didn't have a cell phone then. I said, oh, I, I racked up $10 and collect calls? Fine, I'll give you $10. He's like, no, it's too late. You, th you, you robbed me. I'm like, what? I made your phone bill $10 more expensive. I didn't, I didn't get $10 from you. I made phone calls. You know? So obviously that was a, a stupid excuse for him to never call, talk to me again. When in reality it was that we had nothing in common. Can you imagine getting disowned for not hating black people? It's the weirdest thing in the world. Masih banyak lagi dia punya keluarga yang begitu ya. And dia sih tidak terlalu bercerita dengan mereka. Waktu lalu dia punya keluarga satu yang meninggal itu. The one that died last time, you remember? And he, she wanted to meet you? Oh, yeah. So my mother's sister was an evil person. To him. To my mom and I. Um, and so was her mother. Very, very evil. Uh, person uh, put bash my mom's head through a window. She had a change of heart when she was dying, and she wanted me to talk to her and make friends with her and her son. And I'm like, no, you can't for the first 25 years of my life hate me, not talk to me, never see me, not be my aunt, and then when you're tw I'm 25 years old, suddenly decide you want to be my aunt? No. That was what you do in the, when I was a kid. You could be my aunt. Now, we're both adults, and I don't know you. I don't care that you're dying, because I don't know you. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, I We have no relationship. One. You've never spoke to me in the first 25 years of my life. You think I'm going to now care who you are? You are a stranger. Strangers die every day, and that's sad, but I'm not going to go and go out of my way, spend money and time of my life to get to know you because you have never invested in my life I'm not going to invest anything in yours yeah I know we so long we can talk inside pemirsa kita lagi di Home Depot saya lagi mau cari tanah yang bisa membantu saya punya batang singkong untuk bertumbuh Oke, okay. saya lagi cari pemirsa, apakah di sini ada pacul atau tidak, Ki? Saya kayak tidak melihat adanya pacul di sini. Pemirsa, kita lagi cari mikrofon. Yang di rumah yang saya punya itu adalah ini, sama ini. Kita lagi cari mikrofon yang khusus menyanyi begitu. 
Angel ada di sini pemirsa. Dia punya brand adalah Blue dan ini Blue brand semua pemirsa. Ini USB microphone ya yang kita cari itu yang pakai pas tahu itu yang kita kasih connected microphone dari situ dulu baru ke komputer. Kalau ini kan dia langsung ke komputer ya. OMG pemirsa ada mobil di sebelah kanan saya ini dia datang dari depan sana pemirsa. Dan dari depan sana itu untuk exit dia masuk di bagian exit ke sini. Seharusnya orang yang mau menunggu itu di belakang sana pemirsa. You know she could just drive past me and turn back here because sebentar dia akan block itu orang yang mau keluar gitu loh. Aduh ibu gimana sih? She's blocking traffic now. Yeah she's blocking it. <laughs> pemirsa, can you see? You can't or you can? You cannot see him. Huh? Can you see that? Ya, yes. OMG pemirsa. <laughs> Can you see the the car at the back pemirsa? Dia block the traffic. Oh no. Mm -hmm. No bueno. Love takes time to heal when you hurting so much. Couldn't see that I was blind. To let you go I can't escape the pain inside Cause love takes time Hi everybody Thank you Pemirsa Guess what? Saya sudah gigit ini dia And then saya, saya, saya rasa Bukan coklat croissant pemirsa Ini dia adalah Regular croissant Regular Croissant. Soalnya pertama tadi saya bilang croissant yang almond croissant and then tidak ada kan saya bilang oh bagaimana kalau coklat croissant kalian punya dia bilang oh yes kita punya how much do you want how many do you want saya bilang satu saja almond croissant no we do not what about chocolate croissant what was that chocolate croissant yes do you want how many do you want one one please alright saya bersih dia bilang kamu tadi order croissant ya saya bilang yes saya sudah gigit nih Nirsa saya sudah senang sekali gigit And bam. Uh, Did they charge you for a chocolate croissant? You should check that. I don't get any receipt. Hello, I ordered chocolate croissant. You gave me a regular croissant when I buy it, and this was already buy it. I actually didn't charge you for it. You didn't charge me? No, because I forgot to ring them. So, twelve dollars for this two? Can we get our receipt, please? What was the time on it? 3.03? Uh... 3.03.52? Yeah. I don't get my receipt, too. And then with the venti coffee matcha, there's the almond milk again. So this is with almond milk? Yeah. We didn't say almond milk. This one it was regular milk, and this one the only almond milk. Oh my goodness, they put almond milk in it. Okay, do you want me to remake it? Pumpkin spice latte large hot. Right, right, right. Regular milk. You want to make it? No, but you still want your persona. So. He doesn't want it. No, no, no. That's not what I said. I said, oh. I said it's fine, but you still probably want your almond your your croissant. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. Oh my I, god. I, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, it's fine. I I don't. I. Well, I can't take it back, so it's okay. Okay. Saya order tadi baik baik. Saya tidak tahu apakah tadi saya bilang di kamera waktu saya order, but. It was fine. Can I have it warm? Up, yeah. please. Thank you. Mereka tidak charge. Saya punya croissant. Meaning, she gave me this for free. Basically. Yes, fine. Pemirsa, ini mobil Buick. Dia punya nama. Ini mobil Travis pertama kali seperti begitu. Tapi itu agak sedikit kecil ya. Yang Travis punya itu dia panjang sekali. Saya berkenara pakai itu. Saya belajar mobil pakai itu juga. Travis kasih ajar saya pakai mobil itu ya. Cuma itu kelihatan lebih bersih daripada Travis punya mobil. Pemirsa, ini dia bagus. Cuma ini kayak bukan untuk olahraga ya. This is not for sport. This is just for looks. I don't like this. 
Okay. Yeah, it's not gonna have any speeds. Yeah, I know. Pemirsa, saya beli yang ini. Merah hitam, pemirsa. Uhui. Yang itu sana terlalu tinggi. Ini tidak terlalu bagus. I got my bike, pemirsa. Woohoo! So excited. Go home now. I have a lot to do. We're gonna cook. Hari ini ada pesta potluck di Air Force pemirsa di base. Jadi semuanya harus kayak masak begitu ya. Masak atau beli makanan di bawah di tempat makan bersama gitu loh. I don't know what I'm gonna cook pemirsa. We gonna see a home. What are you guys doing? You have no water? Your dad didn't give you water? Oh Travis, ini eh ada bilang tadi kasih air pada orang. Enggak. 